Okay, so ability to understand a question, my teacher would always say is part of the question. So she must be able to know how to apply what you've learned from a particular topic, whether in maths or any other course, and then to be able to use it to answer questions. All right, and that is why I'm bringing typical jam questions. This is from year 2010 down okay so i think we have up to uh, 2018 and uh, from my understanding studying those past questions i discovered that in every year there is always one question from jam in this uh, particular topic except for between 2015 to 2017 those three years they didn't ask any question from the number basis so recall that this is the first topic we've seen on that jam mathematics which we started looking at and then um, which is uh, utm utm is the exam jam is the body okay remember to subscribe to my channel if this is the first time you are seeing our videos okay so we are going to be looking at these questions this is from 2010 this one is 2011 this is 2012 and then we are going to bring other ones downwards okay so now what are we asked here the first one says that we are to find so here we are to find the value of r if 6r7 base 8 is equal to 511 base 9. Of course, it's actually better you call all of those in digits, okay? So now the same is applicable here. If you watch, you see that that question is the same as this. And then this one is a little bit different, but they are all basic. Okay, so now what are you expected to do here? Now, the simple thing is to move both sides to the base of 10 and then make R the subject to get its value. This one is in base 8, while this is in base 9. So I'm going to try to move this to base uh, 10. And to do that, that's going to give me 6 times the base raised to the power of 1, 2. You have 3 digits there. So raised to the power of 2 plus, then you now have R times 8 raised to the power of 1, then plus 7 times the same 8 raised to the power of 0. Okay, that's for the left-hand side. That will be equal to, on the right-hand side, we we'll also take it to base 10, which will be 5 times 9 to the power of 2, plus let me write that here one times nine to the power of one then plus one times nine to the power of zero okay so you now try to simplify so this is 64 64 times 6 is uh, 128 times 3 which is 4 carry 2 of course uh, this time this is 6 plus 2 is 8 so you have 384 and then plus this one is 8 times r which is 8r and then here is going to give us 7 equal to this one is 81 times 5 so i have 81 times 5 and that's going to give me 5 and then 40 so i have 405 and then this is uh, 1 times 9, which is 9. This is 1 times 1, which is 1. All right. So in summing this, I am going to get 8R um, is equal to, okay, or let's join these two first. So 6, 8, 4 plus 7 is going to give us what? Um, that should be, sorry, 3, 8, 4, not 6, 8, 4. So that should be 3, 9 1 okay 3 9 1 is equal to on this other side this is 10 so you are going to have 415 okay so our 8 r if i move this to the other side is going to be 415 minus uh, 9 uh, 3 9 1 which is going to give us 4 here 1 minus in this will not work so we borrow 1 11 so we have 2 of course this will be 3 minus 3 which is 0 so we have 8 r is equal to 24 so to get our r we divide both sides by 8 of course this will take away this and so our r alone is 24 over 8 which is equal to 3 okay, so the solution to that is equal to c so c is the correct answer all right so that means if i put three here in place of r that six three 
seven base eight will be equal to five one one base nine if you change all of them to base ten you will see the equality okay so and that's for the first one there and then in the second one here so here we have solution like i said is the same the same approach so you do the same thing two times this time around base five raised to the power of two plus q we are looking for q now times the same five to the power of one plus three times the same five to the power of zero is equal to over this side you have seven times eight to the power of one because you have only one digit here and then plus seven times eight to the power of zero so we try to simplify what we've got this is 25 times 2 is 50 this is 5 times q is 5q this one is 3 times 1 which is 3 and then here we have 8 times 7 which is 56 or so yes i'm correct and then plus 1 times 7 which is also 7 okay so this plus this will give us 53 so we have 5 q plus 53 is equal to while this plus this is going to give us um 63 yes okay so we have 63 and by the time you make 5 q the subject 53 coming over here will be minus so we have 63 minus 5 3 which will simply give us 10 and you are done divide both sides by 5 therefore our q alone is equal to 2 and of course you can see the solution to it as a a is the correct answer okay so that's for the first and the second now what about the third question here this one is just normal conversion remember we did three types of conversion from base 10 to any other base from any other base back to base 10 and from a base to another base apart from 10 and that's exactly what they're asking here so we are asked to move from base 6 to base 3 all right remember what i said that it requires two methods you first of all move this to base 10 and then move it to base 3 okay so let's do that solution so what do you think we are going to have now so from here we have seven uh, times the base which is six to the power of one plus two times six to the power of zero and that is going to give us uh, equal to this is six times 7 is 42 then plus um here we will have uh, 1 which is 6 to the power of 0 plus uh, times 2 which is 2 oh i'm writing this twice okay so we just have this is just going to give us 44 in base 10 but that's not our solution we need to move it to base 3 okay so and to move it to base 3 all we need to do is to do our successive division which is 44 and this time we'll be dividing by 3 so 3 into 44 will give us what mm, 42 3 can divide into 42 anyway let's go 3 into 4 is 1 carry 1 here is 14 3 into 14 will give us uh, 4 remainder 2 okay right beautiful so you go again 3 into 14 now is another four remainder two again and then um if you are if you are very sharp you will discover that you've already seen the answer these are some of the things you do in exams like jump you don't need to finish the solution as you're going you're already seeing a sign of what the answer should be you know usually we'll count up so it means that this is definitely going to be the answer because that's the only option where you have two two as the last digit I don't know if you're getting what i'm saying but of course we can finish it up so three again here will give us one remainder one and three lastly will be zero remainder one so by the time you check up you have one one two two in base three as your solution which is d okay so that's for the first three question that is 2010 2011 2012 okay so i'm going to bring up the rest let's see now this one says convert 27 that's 27 base 10 to a number in base 3 i'm going to leave this as an exercise recall we did something like this in number 3 so i changed the particular number to base 
three that's from six to three all right so you should be able to do this let me see what you have a solution for a uh, question four now in the comment section now for question five we are told to find the value of this this is just sum. okay so let me quickly do it here okay so we are not solving this now so let me rule line here so this is solution for number five so what are we doing we want to sum uh one one so what are we going to do normal approach of sum we did that so one plus zero is one one plus zero is one now one plus one remember we are doing this in base two so one plus one is two and you can't have two in base two so you divide by two that will give you one remainder zero so we will write the remainder and carry the one so here we have one plus zero plus one, uh, zero which is one and then here one plus one is two the same thing you write zero and carry one so you put it here one plus one two again also zero and carry one and then you drop that one here okay and that is your solution now let's check the options is there any one that uh, looks like that yes option c is the correct answer okay so back to this now when i was saying that uh, understanding the question is part of the question this is the kind of example where that is really necessary what are they asking you to do here now in fact if you are not careful you will not even know whether this is actually number basis now that it is so what did they do here they subtracted this from this and then got this and they're asking you to find the value of x and y that will fit into here and this will be true and that subtraction will be true so what do you do first of all what i will uh, advise to do is first of all because this is what will guide you because the first thing you need to do is to find the base in which this subtraction was made if you don't find the base you won't be able to solve this so you first of all try this subtraction in base 10 to see if you will get four and that's why they gave you this so if you do three minus uh, four in base 10 are you going to get four no because it can't go so if you borrow one from here that will be 10 so here you have 13 13 minus 4 should be 9 so that means this subtraction was not done in base 10 okay so now what do you do to make you not continue checking all you need to do is ask yourself what number can you add to 3 and when you subtract 4 from it you get 4 that is the number that when you borrow it and add here and it will give you the base that you're looking for so what is that number that number is simply what five so that means this subtraction was done in base five because if i borrow one from here and it will be five so if i add it to this three i'll get eight so eight minus four is the only thing that will give me four okay so and you are done so just use this um base to do this subtraction so let's do that we have already gotten four here remember you removed one from here so this will be three so three minus x now he gave four so that means whatever i have here is also what i have here watch now that means whatever should be here should also be the same as this if i must get four here if i don't get this to this place then i can't get four here since this is three and three so because if i borrow one here i'm going to have okay I'm, I'm assuming that i borrow but let's assume that this is zero if it is zero three minus zero won't be four if it is one three minus one won't be four if it is three three minus three won't be four so it is when you have four and at that time you can no longer subtract so you need to borrow and when you borrow you will get the same eight you got here which will still give you four so that means our x is equal to four okay so you are done for x then come over here now remember that you continue that subtraction so you actually borrowed one from here to complete this so that means this is supposed to remain one and so by the time i do one minus uh, this that's that cannot go so i would also borrow again here so when i borrow one to this place that will be five so five plus one is six 
6 minus 3 is 3. I needed you to see that this is actually correct. That's what we are doing. Okay, so that will give you this 3 here. And then here you have 3 left. So 3 minus 1, that means our y is equal to 2. And you are done. So if you put it in this form, that's going to be 4, 2, which is option C. Okay, so and so far so good. We have done from 2010 to 2018, covering all questions on number basis in JAM. Now, meanwhile, you may also want to see the whole question. You know, if you need a copy of that PDF, you can reach out to me via any of our social media handles, whether WhatsApp, whether Facebook, Telegram, whatever, and I can share with you that PDF. And then you can also use it to practice other topics. But you know, I would have to take this systematically so that when one comes to our channel, the person will be able to follow the topics according to the units, according to the sections. Alright, so this is where we end it for this video. If the video helped you, kindly give a thumbs up to it. Recall or remember to give a solution to this in the comment section and share it to your friends. We'll see you in another of our video. Bye.